Hello, welcome to another installment of the introductory lecture series. I am still Professor Zaldivar, and today we will be talking about Tibor Machen's essay, Do Animals Have Rights? The main point of Machen's essay seems to be that animals are not moral agents and therefore they do not have any rights. He supports this uh, main conclusion via two supporting claims. The first supporting claim is that an animal is that a moral agent is a being that can succeed or fail in moral tasks. In other words, in order to be a moral agent, you have to be able to fail or succeed in moral tasks. You have to be able to take moral actions and draw uh, conclusions or moral values of actions. Furthermore, animals are, since animals clearly cannot do this, animals are not moral, they do not know right from wrong, uh, they are not moral, so they are not moral agents. If they are not moral agents, then they cannot have rights because, as we just noted, rights are nothing more than the social provisions that allow moral agents to exercise their moral options. So in other words, in order to have rights, you have to have the right kind of abilities. And if you don't have the right kind of abilities, you don't have those rights. Since animals don't have moral abilities, they don't have moral values or make moral judgments, um, then they don't have moral rights. The second supporting claim is that we are naturally superior to anything else in nature and because we are more complex than anything else and are judged on, on the moral value of our actions. In other words, Machen wants to argue that in nature there is a natural hierarchy uh, to things and the, the more complex you are or the more valuable you are, the more superior you are. Things that are more superior, therefore, get certain rights and responsibilities and privileges over things that are less superior. Since we are more superior than animals, that gives us certain rights and responsibilities and privileges that animals don't have. Now, before you uh, too quickly dismiss the idea that we are superior to animals, Notice that, for example, it's very common, or it seems to make a lot of common sense, to think that a rock is inferior to a plant, and that plants are inferior to animals. And why do we say this? Well, we say because uh, perhaps plants are more complex than rocks. Perhaps plants are more valuable than rocks. And perhaps animals are more complex than plants, and therefore they are more valuable than plants. They serve more functions and have more freedoms and more abilities. But if that hierarchy makes sense, that animals are superior to plants and plants are superior to rocks, then it seems like it makes sense to also say we are superior to animals because we have abilities, namely moral uh, decision making, uh, amongst others, uh, that seem to make us more complex and therefore more valuable than animals. So Machen's position isn't necessarily wrong or obviously wrong in any way. Now, with these two supporting claims, again, that animals are not moral agents and therefore have no moral rights, and that we are naturally superior or farther up on the hierarchy of nature than animals, um, we get the conclusion that we are entitled to use animals in any way we see fit. In other words, it's perfectly acceptable for us to use animals as we see fit. A common, uh, so uh, a final observation, using things for our own purposes is simply how the world works, according to Machen. Thus using animals for our purposes cannot itself be intrinsically inappropriate. Just as plants use rocks and soil and minerals for their purposes, and animals use plants for their purposes, we can use animals and plants and rocks for our purposes, and there's nothing inherently wrong with that. Furthermore, since animals have no rights, any argument against using animals in one way or another cannot be grounded in the rights of animals. In other words, if you want to argue that certain things are off certain behaviors or uses of animals are off limits, you cannot base your argument on the claim that animals have certain rights. If you want to argue that certain uses of animals are off-limits, you've got to base your argument on some other claim. 
that, in a nutshell, is Tibor Machen's position. It's a pretty straightforward position and a pretty um, easy to understand position, but of course there is a lot more to it. And as always, I encourage you to read the essay so that you can understand the full uh, picture. Uh, after you finish reading the essay, I do encourage you to have to, to take a little bit of time to think about one small observation. Notice that Machen claims that uh, animals are not more agents because they do not have uh, moral abilities. In other words, they don't know right from wrong. There's something else that doesn't, that there's another group of beings that do not know right from wrong. Human infants. If human infants don't know right from wrong, then according to Machen, they are not moral agents, and therefore they do not have moral rights. And therefore, it seems to follow that we are entitled to use human infants for whatever purposes we see fit. Now this is obviously a controversial conclusion, and it is not a conclusion that Machen himself explicitly endorses in his essay. But perhaps he would have a hard time defeating that conclusion. If you are um, attracted to Machen's position, then you have to figure out a way how to defeat that observation. And, uh, well, that's it, actually. Don't forget that the assignments are due Friday at 8 p.m. Um, and if, as always, you can feel free to contact me if you have any questions or concerns. Um, I will be available in all the standard ways. That's it for now, and uh, enjoy, or have a good weekend, or something like that.